Nigeria is our guest. We've also had something of a scrape with Kennedy Iyere, convener you know, um, of an NGO uh, who is in Abuja and, um, you know. Enugu. I beg, I beg about Enugu. Something of a scrap because we, you know, there's a way we do things here. We try to do things by the book. Um, you can't make wild uh, unless you are ready to substantiate all of the statements that you make. And um, we, we don't mean that as, you know, uh, it's just the right thing. It's the way it is. Otherwise, we just have to construct and comport ourselves with the way we speak uh, so that we say things with evidence. There was a matter about somebody actually bringing in, you know, uh, uh, he alleged, uh, our guest alleged that a high court judge had actually been used in, you know, a negative way. You, you can't say that. No? It's, I mean, I, 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 I find that. that, I find that. It's, uh, you can't say that. I find that kind of comment very funny, especially coming from somebody who operates in the civil society. And uh, to, to cast as patrons on the kind of elections that happen in Lagos, you are not INEC. I mean, you are, with INEC is the agency that has been saddled with uh, uh, the uh, uh, coordination exactly. and uh, the, the conduct of elections. And um, I think he, had a, he also seemed to have an issue with uh, Beavers. And, uh, I, I, well, it, everybody is free to say what we they don't, want we to don't, say. We don't have a perfect situation, but then yes. I, would, I, I, would, I would conclude on the Enugu matter by saying that the presidential election held, like I started, you do not expect the momentum that people took to the ballot mm -hmm. on February 25 to repeat mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. on March 18. There are, these are two different elections. We have seen situations in Lagos where Labour Party won by about 9,000 margin. In Lagos on, Feb on uh, February 25th, but there were three elections. The three Senate seats, 22 out of the uh, uh, 24 um, uh, rep seats, all went to uh, 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 APC, with Labour Party having won. I think one is inconclusive. So what does that and tell you? Time, and when you look at rivers, I think all of the local governments. And now, let me tell you, I mean, give a scenario in your state. I was, I was talking about your state the other time, but let me further break it down. On February 25th, the APC won with more than 200,000 margin, won all the three uh, Senate seats, and I think eight or nine out of the, I mean, convincingly in the reps, but flip to almost a month later, March, eight, uh, March 18, Sheyima Kede, the incumbent, defeated uh, Slim Folani by about 200,000 margin. As a matter of fact, I think uh, Oyo is, yeah, 563,000 to 256, more than almost 290,000 margin. Now, look at the assembly. Out of the 34 assembly seats in Oyo, PDP has taken about 30. So, but if Teslim, and Teslim was quick to congratulate Sheima Kinde, and look at the margin with which Ashuaju won, and look at the margin with which um, uh, Sheima Kinde uh, uh, also won. So these are two different elections, same parties having different results. So in La why is Lagos different? And people will, some people will come and tell us that uh, you will not accept results of Lagos because um, you expect Labour Party to win then be just because it has a 9,000 margin. And people are saying on election day that, yes, they might not vote for Ashiwaju in Lagos, but they will vote so will look because he is youth, he is, he is that. And they were given a lot of and reasons. It, and it was a more local, even though they say it's all elections very, are local, but see, it was a much more local election. Would you expect a Dangote to put his 40-year-old chap who is speaking uh, MIT uh, English? I mean, does it stop at that? Now, he would rather secure that facility under his son Olu, who has assisted him, who has helped him to talk to the CBN governor, to talk to the federal government, to talk to other investors, short, who has man, given uh, him uh, a conducive environment. Yeah, and a man of vast experience. You long see, because short, if, if a new kid on the block comes into Lagos, I mean, Dangote won't know how to approach him. <laughs> a a, a Femi or that, a Tedala, won't know how to approach him. A Rabiu, uh, a, a Rabiu Sabiu, 
of um, uh, Bua will not know how to approach it, but then they are already used to a Sanwolu. They are already used to, I mean, they know who to call if things want to go uh, uh, south. And when and if to be told, any of the governors of Lagos, yes. even the past one, yeah. you know, they really are people of, you know, significant of, of accomplishments. Course. Look at know, sub, sub significant see, connections before see, they come we, we, In fact, for his, people, people tell me that a Sanwolu should not even go out and campaign. Now, what he has done is enough to campaign for him, but then I tell them, no, you guys are getting it wrong. I've been in politics enough to understand that it is not your achievement that ends you. But people think of so many other things. And now, who are the people that vote more in Lagos? They are the downtrodden. And these are the people the Labour Party candidate and the PDP candidate want to send uh, packing. Yes? Yes. And you think they will allow you to do that? I'm saying they, they, they now define democracy as the, as the government by Agbero, for Agbero, and for, uh, by, by, by Agbero, by Agbero, for Agbero. No, I mean, those were emotionalism. So, uh, I, I think we can, we can excuse. some people... All sorts of things happen in a I, I think people season. should sit uh, Rhodes Viva down and educate him that this is not the end of life. You have lost an election. There is, you can sustain the momentum. You still have a chance in 2027. If you are grieved, yes, compile your documents. Go to court. Of course, it showed uh, something yesterday. Even if that polling unit is kind of, we are talking of uh, um, 762,000 to 312,000. That is a clear 450,000 difference. If you know how one vote matters, then you will know that it is difficult to erase 450,000 votes. And that is the truth of the matter. Yeah. Um, but and I, also, I should also say that the, some states have flipped the ruling party, the ruling government, has lost some states. APC lost in Kano. APC lost in uh, Sampara. APC has lost in Plato. Um, Benue, of course, Cross Rivers, quote and unquote, Ebony, significantly so. And Tokoto. And I saw Fayoshi doing a video to mock Ambua. <laughs> Okay, um, and the I, loss I, of uh, uh, we, we have a UK call. Ade in the UK has also called in. Good morning, Mr. Ade. Good, good morning, uh, Dr. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, uh, sir. I only want to comment. We have seen the result of the election. First round is gone. But another one is coming. That will be selection. Which means a lot of Bayeta syndrome will happen. Remember Bayeta? When the governor was about to be sworn in tomorrow, and they said, no, we are not the one. Expect a lot of Baita syndrome from presidency to governor. God bless you. Yes. Okay. Uh, well done, Mr. Ade. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. You know, we take all kind of commentary. So when Mr. Ade came on, you know dispositions of people. That was not a surprising disposition uh, at all. Uh, thank you for it, nevertheless. You know, it just See, went. um... See, I, I, I love Paul Kim uh, in terms, in, 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 in figures. I did some statistics uh, in my uh, undergraduate level. As a student of Radrick, we do a lot of statistics. Now, I want to take us to Ebony State and look at what happened on February 25 and what happened on March 18. Mm -hmm. In Ebony State, February 25, um, presidential election, APC got 42,000 votes, PDP 13,000, and Labour Party 259,000 votes. That's a boy. Now, on today, March 18, APC 199,000 votes, PDP got 80,000 to come second, and APGA came third with 52,189. Labour Party, on that with a Peter B phenomenon and enthusiasm from 259,000 came down to less than 20,000 votes. That's Ebony. That's a southeastern state. Exactly. So if that happened in Ebony, how would you expect for Labour Party to sustain that slim momentum in Lagos. Because I, we need to break these things down. 
and let people see things. If you move to Delta, Delta is close by in the south-south. In in on April 25, APC had 90,000 votes, PDP 161. Labour Party got 341,000 votes in Delta. On March 18, I mean, it flipped. Uh, Delta State, uh, the, the, gov the, gov the governorship candidate of the PDP, uh, it, it, it's, it's, the name is very long, Obowere, I will, I will stop at that, <laughs> got 240,000 votes. Uh, sorry, got 360,000 votes. Omoagege, Deputy Senate uh, President, I mean, gave a very good fight, 240,000 votes, although he said he would challenge the result of the election. Abga got 11,000, more than Labour Party. And you see, I want us to look I, I hear at you. this and scenario. And by the way, that name, you know, you know that uh, the name uh, for Delta, yes, you know, it's a long one. I, mean, I, 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 you know, I try to abbreviate. Above where? Above where? <laughs> when he pronounces it himself, or anybody mm. that speaks the language, mm. it's a much simpler kind of a thing. Now, uh, sorry to keep you waiting, uh, Mr. Adekunle in Ore. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Yori. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Mujik. Good morning, sir. Yeah, please, there is uh, something I want to quickly, quickly uh, chip in. Because I am I'm a security officer in this election. Let me just put it straight. There is something that played out that I noticed, but because there is no security breach, there was nothing anybody can do. I think some of the aggrieved parties, uh, the aggrieved political parties, to also hold some of their agents, pulling agents responsible. And I'll tell you why. In one of the polling units, I don't want to mention the state, people are coming out to vote. And they, the other agents are there, and they are telling them where to some print. And they are going there to do their graduation, and they will tell them we are there to some print. And they are going there straight to some print. Do you know what happened? After I had to engage one of the agents and said, come, why did you allow this thing to happen? Because there is nothing we could do, because there has not been any security breach. Since both there is no report and no, no violence and nothing is happening, but there is something I noticed that I can see that some people are being persuaded to vote in a particular uh, direction. They now said, yes, that there are some political parties that paid the agents more than the other. And this is what I want the, 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 the political party to know. He said there is a political party that is giving its own agents. And one is giving another political agent 30,000. 30, so the one that is giving 30,000 30, now, now bought over the one that was that, that took 10,000 10, naira and gave them their own 30,000 naira. And that was how election in, in some of the police polling units were compromised. So, mm. if, mm. so if some mm. the, the, the political agent... But, but you say you couldn't bring this to the attention of anyone uh, because there was no sort of uh, uh, organization for that. Is that what you're saying? Hello? I can't hear you, please. I said, when you, are not, when you notice this anomaly, you couldn't bring it to anyone's attention because such a structure didn't exist. Is, did I understand you? Exactly. There was, there was no, no argument between them, no fight, nothing. <laughs> okay. okay. No fight, nothing. Thank you very much, Mr. It was, it was after the election. Thank you very much uh, for calling in from Ore. You know, we, we, we're hearing about all sorts. And one thing that we've noticed is that in spite of um, the best efforts of INEC, we're talking about the Vivas here as being a game changer and all of that, um, there still were people that were working right through the night. You know, uh, they just weren't taking a break as to how to, you know, really still breach the uh, sanctity of this election. And so that was going on. Now, um, I'm happy we spoke about that. 
Um, I wouldn't have said anything, but then because you raised the issue, I've been taking part actively in elections, I mean, as, as a stakeholder since 20, 2007. And um, before the introduction of uh, DIVAS, what normally happens, like what is said, the party agents of the two major political parties then, but now we have about three or four, mm -hmm. depending on the state, mm. they will sit down. If there are 500 voters in a polling unit, INEC will issue 500 ballot papers. In actual fact, the highest uh, percentage of uh, those who come to vote on election day has never exceeded 35, 40%. So if you have 500, which means you have maximum of 200 people coming to vote. So pre, pre -vers, uh, be -vers, what will happen is the agents will decide, we can return this with the electoral officer, we can return this remaining 300 ballot mm -hmm. papers. Mm -hmm. So they will allocate to each other and they will turn print. Can you imagine? So I mean, the highest bidder takes the highest listing. So and in a state where a ruling party is uh, on the throne, the whole 300 might just go to the ruling party. Let me quickly bring in Tunde in Ikorudu. He's our last caller. Good morning, Tunde. Good morning, Mr. Ayori. Thank you for calling in. Go ahead, quick, quickly, please. Yeah, Mr. Ayori, please, uh, my contribution is this. People should think the election, this election uh, that we are, we are talking about, the aftermath now, is, is uh, I can directly say it will be caused a lot of damages with his rhetoric and campaign of a, a kind of a kind of sentimental campaign with religions, with ethnicity. It has never happened like this in the history of Nigeria before. It has never happened like this. Now is a good is a, is a very good young man, performing very sharp, very, very massively well. I can I I I am one of those those people that do talking to people in my area that Sawudu don't need any campaign. Huge, and we, we Nigeria say, okay, we want somebody that is perform performance is the best way to elect our leaders. Why should we bring that people? Or what was he calling their name? No, no, no need, so, no, no need for any of that. But um, I hear what you're saying. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Peter Obi and the, our religious leaders and our our, our political leaders they are the cause. This this kind of a damage that, that is happening now after a month of this election is because of their rhetoric. The way they campaign, campaign on religion, campaign on ethnicity. All no, right. it's okay. supposed to be like that. All Our right, incoming then. president should, should work about that, and they should put a law to that. Thank you I very much, Tunde. Appreciate your call. Thank you very much for calling in. Uh, Majid, we, we started, it looks like we, we just started five minutes ago. Yeah. We've run out of time. But uh, here we are. I, I have heard the presidential campaign council uh, say that um, in response to a lot of stuff that's going on, that the election has won and lost. That is in place we are at the presidential level, uh, even here, ditto. But there still is the matter that there are procedures, there is structure for anybody who uh, has a complaint to air those complaints. I think we just have to leave it like that. There's much, much more that can be said, but we are limited by this one hour that we have. So I want to thank you very much for coming on, Majid. Did you have any thank closing you. one? Yeah, um, like uh, we have said here, um, it's an election cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, people should just um, accept the results. If you, uh, you don't want to accept, then you go to court. There are procedures. Then start planning for 2027. The OB momentum should not be allowed to die now because it has, it has changed a lot of narratives. Then INEC should perfect its uh, acts in terms of logistics, in terms of distribution. But then kudos to INEC for introducing BVAS. The days of polling two million votes are over, except in Kano. Yes. Except in Kano. That's the only state that has recorded one million by a candidate. The next is uh, Lagos uh, with uh, 750 something. So the days of millions of votes are over. We have to leave because it there, Majid. human beings that are voting now, not uh, uh, dead uh, uh, voters. Thank you very much. Majid Jami, executive editor of Short Media. And that's our program today. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Polari. Bye-bye for now.